morning, everybody. <laughs> Actually, it's almost afternoon. And uh, by the time you get to see this, who knows what time of day it is. So, good day, everyone. Thank you for coming to Andale Homestead. I'm Ann, and I'm so glad that you're here. Today, I'm not on the homestead again. I'm at my Auntie Peg and Uncle Wayne's home at Lake Gaston. And it's gorgeous. And I just wanted to share a little bit about this with my family here. Um, they have some gardening around the edge of the pier here. They asked me not to show the dead garden too much. But you know, we all have those things where they come and they go. Uh, but they had some peppers that were down here. Some eggplants. That's a golden eggplant. And the purple eggplant. Yeah, even now, they're still growing some food. So, I wanted to share a little bit about this area. If you can hear the birds going in the background. There are some crows and some squirrels and some coyotes and lots of wildlife around here. This is a place that I grew up coming to. This was my little piece of heaven growing up. And I brought my own children, and now I'm starting to bring my grandchildren. It's a place filled with love and joy and welcomeness. And I hope that you have one of those places in your life where you can go and know that oh, this is a place where I can come to relax. And my Auntie Peg and Uncle Wayne have this ability, I think I've said this before, of making all of their nieces and nephews feel like they're the special ones. <laughs> and there is an art to that. There truly is. But I just wanted to share a little bit about my piece of heaven here. I learned to swim here. Well, my daddy taught me how to swim. But I learned to ski here. I used to come and spend time with my Auntie before she even had a pier, we would jump off the edge there and we would take baths in the lake here with ivory soap because that floats. There would occasionally be a little snake <laughs> swimming away, but we learned to respect them and they didn't come and bother us. I learned so much. I think the first time that the whole family came and spent the night here at the lake, it was just a single wide mobile home, a single wide trailer at the time, which has been built on a hundred times again. But my cousin and I slept underneath the kitchen table and we thought it was the best tent in the whole wide world. It was just a lot of family, a lot of love. I don't know anyone in the crowd that doesn't feel good when they're here, it's a piece of heaven. So I just wanted to touch base with you a little bit. Oh goodness, my hair is having some issues today, but I'm getting ready to head back to the homestead. And I wanted to show that no matter where you go, you can still gather food. You can still gather wild herbs, foraging for wild herbs that are growing. You can do all kinds of things. When you have your mind and your attitude in the right spot, that's all you need. All right, you guys take care. Remember, I love you, and I'll hope to see you soon. Bye-bye now. <laughs>